Let's get some more analysis on our top story, that decision by Donald Trump that the Americans, the United States, is now formally recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Jamal Abdullah, Dr. Jamal Abdullah, I should say, Jamal, sorry about that. You gained the qualification, you deserve it. You're a specialist in Gulf politics at TRT World's Research Center. So the perfect guest to tell us first if in that region, in the Gulf, there is any sort of support for this move by the Americans. Well, thank you, Adnan, very much. Actually, in international relations, we know that all events related together. Uh, I believe that when uh, Mr. Trump decided to announce yesterday that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, he already, <coughs> well, he already actually talked to some leaders in the, Arab, uh, in the Arab world, in the Muslim world as well. But I believe that the United States takes advantage of the, this kind of uh, uh, Arab world and Muslim world divided for the moment. We know now, uh, now in the Arab world and Muslim world, we have some blocks, we have some, uh, uh, some uh, axes. And even if we come back to the uh, uh, statement of the uh, Gulf summit, just terminated or finished two days ago, uh, in this statement actually, it contains about 37 points. Just one point, point number 15, talk about the uh, Palestinian uh, issue. And uh, the leaders of uh, Gulf states uh, uh, decided to uh, confirm once again that Jerusalem is, is the capital of Palestine and any issue could be discussed with the, uh, uh, the Palestine, between the Palestinian and Israel before getting uh, the results of this one. And very interesting that you say it was point number 15 at right. that Gulf summit. Right. But for those who feel great displeasure, who are strongest in their disagreement with the American decision, do you expect them to take any sort of action in expressing those feelings apart from just saying the words, we don't like this? Well, almost of the world, in the, in the Arab world, Muslim world, even in Europe, uh, European uh, countries yesterday actually uh, uh, they are, don't agree, actually, with this kind of, of decision the United States took yesterday. But at the same time, I believe that Mr. Trump, uh, as I mentioned, uh, took advantage that he has a very good relationship now with King Salman and with the new administration in Saudi Arabia. You, we all know that uh, last May there uh, uh, has a big, actually, uh, summit uh, in Riyadh uh, on 20 and 21st of May. Uh, between the United States and Muslim world. But once again, the Muslim world, 57 countries in the Muslim world, 22 countries in the Arab world against this, this issue and this decision. But in the same time, I believe also that some of leaders actually uh, uh, will uh, don't accept, but at the same time will not react very well. Jamal, just briefly, finally, you said that he had spoken, Trump, with Muslim leaders around the world. Do you think that they might say something different in private, on the telephone with the president, compared to what they say in public to their own people and the rest of the Muslim world? Just briefly. Indeed, I believe it could be happened. But at the same time, the, Arabs, the Arab League actually will be, um, um, all leaders will be meet tomorrow uh, in, in Cairo. And as well as uh, President Erdogan, President of Turkey, uh, invited also the Muslim uh, countries, 57 Muslim countries, to, 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 to meet in Istanbul next Wednesday to discuss this matter and to discuss the impact of this matter. Dr. Jamal Abdullah. Thank you, Thank you Jamal. Thank you.